Good morning, everyone. Philip from Blackpool Markets here. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we've got a bit of a market update for you. Uh, the markets have not really done too well today. Uh, I would say the Aussie probably was the only only one that sort of moved uh, today-ish with that big move to the downside. But other than that, all the other markets have sort of been quite quiet. Gold's been quiet. The US dollar's been quiet, uh, especially during the US Open. So a little bit of an interesting thing going on in the market. So not a lot of charts to go through, uh, but we do we have found some that we uh, do believe have got some interesting patterns. Also, just want to talk about the Aussie uh, NZ dollar. Just want to show you guys something that I would be wary of if I was to trade it or if anyone was looking to trade it. Just wanted to show you guys something as well. Uh, but we'll dive straight into it and uh, we'll see what we have here. So here we have the Aussie NZD daily bar chart, uh, candlestick chart, sorry. Uh, so you can see we've had this big wick to the downside. So we've broken uh, this support area to the downside. So uh, there's potential moves uh, further down. But the thing I want to warn about is usually during these sort of where these wicks are, uh, we do have a lot of uh, sort of uncertainty in the market. So we just always have to be careful just to sort of uh, look f to see, you know, there could be potential, uh, like I said, it's, it's uncertainty in the market. So we could see consolidation. Uh, usually the market, it can fill the wick. Uh, if we look on the weekly, uh, you can see there's still this big wick. I'll just get rid of this so you can see a bit better. Uh, you can see this big wick. Let's have a look on the monthly. Uh, so we could potentially see this wick being filled. Uh, this is a very common pattern as well for a wick to be filled, uh, but usually uh, we could see, sorry, we could see here as the well there is a very strong support area. So we'll see what happens. So just be wary if you do trade this pair. Um, any of the Aussie pairs really do have, they all sort of have this big wick to the downside. You can see, we let's have a look here on the daily bar chart. Uh, you can see they all sort of have this very, very big move to the downside and they correct it back up. So just be wary of that when you do trade the Aussie. Uh, this could cause a bit of consolidation or uh, uncertain moves. Moving on to our Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Uh, here we go. Uh, so the Canadian dollar Swiss franc, uh, four hourly uh, candlestick chart we can see here has come down to this previous resistance area, has now turned into a support. Very nice. We can see a potential move further to the upside. We do have this very strong uptrend. Uh, you can see here. So hopefully, hopefully we see a move to the upside. If it does break further down, keep in mind we do have this uh, trend line to hit as well. Uh, if it does break past that, we look further downwards. On the upside, uh, we can see a good potential move to round about here. I would say we can see we've had previous uh, resistance areas. So uh, good if it does go up, a good uh, about a six sixty or oh, sorry seventy seventy pip move to the upside. So it could be quite nice. Uh, if it does break past that, we could look further to the top side. Let's have a look here on the weekly. Yes, yeah, so if it does break further up, we could see all the way up to here to the 0.78.145 level, uh, if you want to be precise. If we do break to the downside, there's not a lot of traffic to the downside. So uh, we can look for these potential resistance areas. You can see here, uh, using these candlesticks and all these uh, wicks as well, uh, we can see this has caused previous sort of resistance uh, sorry, support target zones. Uh, in previous history, so we can see here resistance, bit of support, get resistance over here with these wicks trying to break through, bit of consolidation, uh, bit of support here. So if it does break past further below uh, this this trade line over here, we can see a potential move further, uh, about 100 pips as well, which we, could be quite nice. Uh, and then moving on to our GBP JPY. So quite nice short sweet video here. Uh, again, we do have this very nice support. We are now heading. Uh, this was you can see even here during the market open. This is a, sorry, this is a 30 minute candlestick chart in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, so we've had this market open. The market was really really unsure of itself. It was actually a bit of a frustrating move. Uh, I've been watching it today, so it's a little bit like I said, a little bit frustrating. Uh, you can see here it had sort of this f false breakout we call a fake out move so looking for a move to the upside it came on for a retest was great uh, created that candle scale was a good move uh, but it's just sort of been, it came back down again using this as support uh, sorry as a resistance back down to the support for another retest of the zone uh, so we'll see what happens we do have now this trend line starting to form so we could see a possible uh, maybe flat bottom triangle and then for a break to the upside, if it does uh, come close to here again to this area, we could see a still consolidation uh, in this zone. So you can see here this course previous consolidation. 
so this could be a, a very frustrating area for us until it breaks out we've got a clean move to the upside uh, either to one of these key support uh, resist <laughs> resistance areas uh, and then obviously I hope we could see some bit of consolidation if it does go into the zone if it breaks to the downside again a clean move down but we do have it as a previous strong resistance area as well but if it does break past we can see this move all the way come back down to here which is a nice uh, 100 and 103 what's it 130 pip move which is which could be quite well if we do catch it so that would be great uh, very nice moves either to the up or to the downside if it like I said if it moves to the downside we have a bigger bigger move then to the upside uh, and then moving on to our AZD CHF or New Zealand dollar Swiss frag this is the daily bar chart so we've reached sort of this top area it looks like a bit of a multiple top that we have reached uh, you can see here we've had a bit of a fast breakout there previous top previous top so making this big bearish candle to the downside uh, not a lot of traffic so we could see if you're looking for a nice swing trade because this is on the daily time frame we could see a very nice move coming down uh, hopefully to this area over here if it does break to the top side uh, we could could see I'll just zoom out a little bit we could see a possible consolidation that you can see here we've had it previously uh, so I'll just quickly map out these zones um, I'll just quickly show you here so you can see we've got these very very uh, strong consolidation zones that we could see so if it does go into the zone just be aware of that but if it goes to the downside that'll be great perfect nice clean move to the downside Hopefully we get this very nice swing trade. Uh, moving on to our AZD USD. Now I've done a previous video on the AZD USD uh, on this Elliott wave. We've completely broken this down, which was uh, a lot of people have actually quite liked this video. Uh, I've got some clients telling me about it as well. A lot of clients have started e emailing me, uh, talking about Elliott wave, asking some questions, which is great. I love it. That's the whole reason I'm here for. Uh, love to discuss the markets. If you guys do want to get in touch with us, please do let us know and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, give you some references on what good books to read if you want to get into Elliott wave. But uh, for this analysis, we can see it has now uh, retraced this key area over here. It looks like an AB C wave pretty much textbook you can see that C wave is a hundred percent of the A wave if you uh, can't see that let me just quickly show you with Fibonacci here so I'll get our Fibonacci expansion measure our A wave measure our B wave you can see it's just just sort of short they are very nice as well I'll show you just what I'm talking about so you can see almost on the dot 100% of that A wave which is great within this channel as well so perfect uh, move if it does break past we'll have to see what else it is could be a possible double zigzag um, or something else we'll see but for the meantime we could see it has we can't really I can't see much of this uh, this a wave over here maybe it, it could be a bit of a, uh, a leading a diagonal uh, but for the B wave uh, C wave sorry very very clear five wave structure you've got waves one waves two waves three very clearly extended wave four and wave potentially finish on wave five maybe we can go down to the five minutes or even the one minute I don't usually recommend these lower time frames but it's always always a bit interesting to see what it looks like as well on these lower time frames uh, but you can see here inside of this fifth wave we do have our waves one uh, looks like a wave two I'm not sure which was low let's just have a look here uh, so the high of this one was 0.68572 and this one over here was uh, 0.68 so this one is a little bit higher so we do have possible waves one wave two wave three wave four and wave five in the wave, wave five that does signal our fifth wave fi finishing uh, we can't go any lower unfortunately so we can't see what this is but we can almost mark, make out five waves there so uh, could be finished with this wave to the downside and we could potentially start this new uptrend so uh, or continue this uptrend so we'll just put this here to signify our wave two being completed of our wave three so we're looking for this is our start of wave three over here that we're looking at uh, so we could see a move further to the upside like i said if it breaks past here uh, we'll just have a look also another great move over here was it came close to our previous wave four of the structure so that is also great uh, you can see it came into this the zone of this wave four which happened to be a very nice symmetrical triangle uh, very textbook waves a b c d and e uh, you could see all three wave structures so very very nice uh, very excited about this so hopefully we can see a move to the upside to continue up but like I said breaks down we'll just have to realize if it does break past 
this area over here, which is our wave two, uh, also wave one of this this structure over here, this beginning of wave one. We'll have to recount this, uh, see what else it could be, because that invalidates our count if it does break past this wave two. Uh, but like I said, I made a very big in-depth detailed video of this analysis on my previous video, so do have a look at that if you guys want to have a want to have a bit of a more depth detail of the NZD USD. This is our Kiwi dollar. Uh, this is a 30 minute time frame. The video I did was on the hourly time frame, very far zoomed out. So you can see there's a, a lot of information there. So if you do want to have a look at it, please do check it out. But that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, not a lot of the market today. Uh, so we, we expect not a lot. Uh, we'll see what happens maybe down the line. It is already Thursday morning for us here in New Zealand. So uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, yesterday, Wednesday was a public holiday for us. So markets for the Kiwi market has been a bit quiet. Um, so we'll see what does happen. But thank you very much for watching. Do click that subscribe button followed by the bell icon to get notifications of whenever we release new videos. Do click that like button if you did enjoy this video. Please do that. And let us know in the comments down below what you think of the video. If you have any other suggestions you'd like us to implement. Uh, if there's anything you'd like us to talk about. Even if it is not market updates. If it's just sort of uh, you know our general knowledge about the markets. I myself am a more technical analyst. My colleague uh, Anish is a very, very big on the fundamental side of things. So let us know if you guys want to hear any videos, our sort of inside of the market and what we look for, what we think about the markets just in general. If you want to get in touch with us, please do so. Contacts will be provided down below in the description of the video. Uh, if you want to email us, please do so at support at blackwellmarkets.com. Our live chat is on our website, blackwellmarkets.com. Little green button that says live chat, do click on that and our team will be there waiting for you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. From everyone here at Blackwell Markets, safe trading.